Nigeria has the fourth largest cattle population in Africa. Estimated at over 20 million cattle, including 2.35 million cows used for dairy production. Despite its size, the Nigerian dairy sector is largely fragmented, unorganized, and inefficient. The dairy sector in Nigeria, within the Nigerian political economy, is so critical to us because one, it sits at the intersection between agriculture and nutrition, and it's at the heart of our strategy. Now, dairy ticks all the four boxes of our strategy. It ticks income, it ticks enhanced productivity, it ticks the, the pillar around access to nutritious food, and most importantly, in the Nigerian case, because the pastoral livelihoods of women farmers within the pastoral community, if you work in dairy, you are enhancing and establishing clear pathways for enhancing the empowerment of women. Women play a critical role in dairy production in Nigeria as they typically manage the production, informal processing, and sale of the raw milk and local milk products. The Nigerian Dairy Development Program, NDDP, was designed to help address the challenges affecting the local dairy sector. Sahel was actually asked to pilot this program based on the research we had done for Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation earlier, looking at 20 value chains, narrowing down to four, and eventually picking dairy as a key vital value chain. And so NDDP was born. NDDP aimed to improve the livelihoods of the smallholder dairy farmers in Nigeria by enhancing the productivity of their cattle and integrating them into the formal dairy value chain. Sahel Consulting implemented the program over the last two years in partnership with Friesland Campina Wamco in Oyo State and LNZ Integrated Farms in Kano State with the support of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development and the governments of Oyo State and Kano State. The first focus area of the program was the identification and integration of smallholder dairy farmers. The purpose of this intervention was to identify and integrate smallholder dairy farmers from selected clusters that the processors are interested in sourcing from and have established milk collection infrastructures. NDDP, with the support of state's extension agents, work with the dairy processors to identify and integrate new dairy households into the supply chain. In Oyo, we were able to integrate 1,440 new dairy households, while in Kano, we integrated 350 new dairy households. Now we have the police who go carry go sell. We collect our money. Our women they know they go sell again. NDDP's second focus area was around interventions to improve farmers' productivity and the milk potential of their cows. The program had three productivity interventions, training and extension, feed and fodder, and artificial insemination. The Ministry, in collaboration with NADA, Kano State Agricultural Rural Development Authority, provided the needed extension staff that the project needs. Sananabiu had a vision to move him. Chiawa aji tazo tazama yada tazama ajara abasu shima alhamdulillah. Hey, what I am a view to see there. Come on, Jen. Some touch my daughter in that house. When you took her, she ran. I come and marry her. She got a chicken soup. When I went to the community, I'm happy. They do use what I taught them. They put it into practice. We identify farmers and we train them at least 160, average of 160 farmers every month. At times on a module, we train like four weeks. Some lasted for eight weeks. By the end of all the training, 
we distribute care to them so that they can lay hold on it to consolidate the training given to them. Overall, we've trained um, 3,920 farmers in Oyo State and about 2,000 farmers in Kano State. NDDP piloted a market-based approach to increase farmers' access to quality feed and fodder for all their cows. Currently, there are about 70 farmers who have become fodder producers. About 300 hectares have come under cultivation for fodder, yielding something in the region of 750,000 tons of feed for the animals per annum. Lord Timoko Dap won in 2017. One for one year, one can see I live me. One for one bacteria, one for one lab lab, one for one maze. On call a local bass in my bee, they want the lefuan love fed, want to find fertilizer, tamalu, and when did the pay in? Me buy, you know what I'm going to do. No one cagada, the lie or sully, and the machine was in tepi, Sintashi, Sintapi, Damaturu. A mawana cagas and a dear Samoana Avenci, Mama had what about Edazam. The moment some coda and a mucha de Shia Kali insha allow a quavan and damn to Gabada Basu. The use of artificial insemination has been a key success factor in countries such as Kenya and India as part of their transition from pastoral to semi intensive and intensive dairy production systems. Cows' higher yields is a function of nutrition and genetic. So you can only improve the genetic through artificial insemination, that is crossbreeding, to get a higher exotic bloodline. And uh, this is an area the project was willing to support and is supporting. As part of this intervention, 15 youths in Oyo and 5 in Kano with animal science or veterinary backgrounds were selected and trained to support the intervention as artificial insemination technicians. From the beginning of this program, I've inseminated more than 50 cows. So after this program is over, I can go back to my community and do and establish an enterprise for AI, or to open a shop that I can go and do AI in different farms. Through this intervention, which is still ongoing, we are expecting by June 2019 to inseminate about 2,400 cows in Oyo and close to 500 cows in Kano State. NDDP's third focus area is around infrastructure development interventions. The NDDP is a processor-led project and uh, we, we have our own commitment that we need, to, we need to make, one of which was we need to provide evacuation vehicles that are refrigerated, which we invested in. That is for the raw milk of the factory. We need to establish milk collection centers with the necessary infrastructure, which we did. And then the project now on the delivery came to our rescue by providing canisters. Friesland Campina Wanko, they provided all necessary infrastructures. They, they built milk collection centers in five places to make it possible for the company to be able to be to be able to collect mix from all these others. Perhaps the most visible of these interventions is the construction of solar-powered boreholes in participating communities. Most of this community before the program there is no water and water is life. <laughs> NDDP is a unique example of the impact that can be generated when public and private sector actors collaborate to tackle key development challenges with a focus on the dairy sector. Over the last two and a half years, it's been quite a journey. Um, and we've really seen the power of partnerships. When you can bring stakeholders together who all have something valuable to bring to the table, you can transform lives. And that's what NDDP has been able to do.